Welcome to Oasis Forum 2018. I am delighted to be joined by Mr. Sultan Al Shali. He works for uh, the Prime Minister's office in the UAE and is in charge of uh, government accelerators. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. So, government accelerators, what is this all about? Government accelerators was launched about a year less than a year and a half ago by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, the Prime Minister of the UAE. And it's based on a very simple philosophy that nation size are not me measured by volume or size, but actually the speed of achievement and how fast do we deliver results. And on that, a new way of government work was born. From the government accelerators, we create teams, something like SWAT teams, frontline officers. And those teams will work for 100 days nonstop to deliver tangible results. And when you bring them together from different sectors, either it's government, federal, local, nonprofit, education, and they work together, they surprise you with results. I have to say, not a single team that worked with us, um, uh, they all mi met the target that they've set, but most of them reached even three times, three folds, the original target that they've set for themselves within 100 days. To give you an example, we had a team under the sponsorship of the Ministry of Interior. And there is a national KPI that measures death on roads, which is also part of uh, the national agenda of 2021. Their original goal was to reduce the number of deaths by 23%. And even though the Ministry of Interior and the local police departments thought that was a very ambitious number to achieve in 100 days, they surprised everyone by achieving 63%. That's saving 28 lives. That's saving about 38 million euros that was wasted based on, on the accidents that we had every year. And that's just one example. So it's a definitely a very interesting approach that we're eager to share with the world and hopefully others can learn from it and, and apply it themselves. It's interesting because this is from is all about that, about sharing best practices. So you've come here and you've shared your, your knowledge with other stakeholders. How was the, the response or the feedback from, from uh, the people you've shared, uh, you know, the, the, the main uh, axis of strategy of your program with? Well, honestly, I'm, I'm looking forward to my, uh, my workshop is tomorrow. So I would, okay. I would like to see more people uh, definitely join that. But I did have a couple of interesting conversations one on one. And uh, they can't believe it when I tell them that our offices is actually on the ground floor in a shopping mall. That people <laughs> can actually just walk in and they see the emblem and they're confused. It's like, is this government or is it a shop? Do you guys sell mugs? Like, no, no. We make magic here. Come, join, learn. And we've got so much interest. We've partnered with a couple of universities now to actually publish uh, case studies and white papers that's going to actually help others also apply the same methodology. We've uh, just finished producing a MOOC that will go online and will spread the knowledge as well, as well as our manual. So I think uh, it's interesting as in we're talking about an initiative that's less than two years old and we've had huge impact, tangible results delivered, projects that were in the making for seven years was actually delivered in 100 days, including a lot of smart government services. That's very impressive. And, and what's interesting about this approach is the fact that in 2018, we are inundated with technology and we are also overwhelmed by new technology. You've mentioned artificial intelligence, there's blockchain, the internet of things, there's so much going on. So at least your approach helps create a framework, I suppose, uh, and ensures that there is success uh, at the end uh, of the day when using all those innovative yeah. technologies. And again, it's, it's about that freedom that you give the team to work because as the government accelerators, we do not own the challenge. We do not own the uh, deliverables. The challenge is facing the nation. So it's all our challenge. The leading entity is, might, might can be considered the most specialized to be sponsoring this challenge. But we give the team, when, once they're formed, the option to do whatever. Some would use WhatsApp groups to communicate. Others will actually have full email uh, communication streamlines. Other went as much as project management tools. At the end of the day, it's not the method, it's the actual results that it gets you. And you see this a new approach of collaboration. 
especially when you're involving all stakeholders early on from the challenge identification and agreeing that this is actually the challenge we're facing rather than taking a single point of view. And once that the leadership agrees, then the team is nominated and then the team set the goals themselves and the leader will only have to coach them, support them, empower them in 100 days. This is definitely the way forward. And it shows that when it comes to ICTs, the human touch is always very important, isn't definitely, it? Definitely. Mr. Al-Shali, thank you very much. You're most welcome. Thank you.